again, um, Cheryl here. I'm going to be doing a quick video on how I encapsulate the lace, um, the netting in the nail. Um, I've had some requests on how I do it. Um, first of all, I'm going to just say right quick, I am not a professional. This is how I do it. Um, so anyway, so here, this is, I have a nail. This is just, uh, I just did a white nail bed on the practice nail here. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of clear, um, use that as like an adhesive um, to stick the, the lace to, to the nail. Get the whole nail. Oops, I hope I'm in the frame here. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take the lace. This is hard to do on a practice nail and not my own nail. So <laughs> anyway, take the lace and get it on there. I'm going to just kind of hold it here until it dries a little bit because um, I don't want it to take off on me. So... Oh my goodness, I don't understand why my camera is so fuzzy. I'm sorry, I apologize about that. So, all right, I think we're good. We're good enough anyway. So, um, then I'm just going to grab my scissors. Um, let's see here. I'm going to cut that. Just to get the bulk out of the way here. Um... There, got the bulk of it out of there. So, all right, so I got the lace on there. Um, it's still a little bit tacky, which is good because I want to make sure it's all laying flat anyway. So, um, there you go. You can see that. Um, and then if you want to put, since I, I just did a FEMO video, if you want to put like a FEMO on there or whatnot to just make it look nice, again, how I do my FEMOs is just a tiny dot of clear. Grab the Fimo, pop her on there. Um, as it's getting tacky or sticky, I just make sure the Fimo's laying nicely and this one is actually laying beautifully. Um, so that's really, oh wow, that laid nicely. Fimos can be fun if you have one that's too thick or one that's too thin. They like to curl or they will just pop up on you. So this one laid very nicely. So, all right, back to the, the lace. I got the lace in there and I got the Fimo on there. What I'm gonna do is encapsulate the whole nail. Um, I am using my clear acrylic and I usually do not, lay it this thin, but because this is a very odd angle for me, um, it's just a lot faster to do it this way. Um, so you just grab your acrylic and encapsulate the entire nail. Um, make sure the female's on there good. Um, make sure it's covered because when you start filing, you don't want you don't want to file into the lace or the femo. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's going to look awful. It's going to leave a lump there. And for somebody like me who likes to pick, I will pick it until I end up pulling the whole nail off. So anyways, so this is basically what you do. So everything's encapsulated. Um, you're going to let it dry. Um, just cleaning the brush here. So, all right, so you can see, um, you got the lace in there, the little female. It's so pretty. I love that. Um, you're going to let this dry. I'm not going to sit here for about a minute and let this completely dry. I am going to be right back, um, slice the lace away. Um, the rest of the lace, and that's what you're going to do. You're just going to take your scissors and cut the the rest of the lace off of here. You're going to take your your buffer, your sander, um, file the edges in the top, and the you know buff the buff the nail, 
And then um, once you get it all buffed out, then you're going to put, I like to use the gel, the clear gel um, top coat. Um, put your designs if you want to put some lines, dots, rhinestones, whatever. But that's kind of, that's what you do. You just encapsulate the lace like that. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. I hope this was helpful. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm not saying this is the way it's supposed to be done. I'm just saying this is the way I do it. So um, this was just uh, just me tell telling you how, how I do this. So anyway, if you have any questions, comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Um, any questions, let me know. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.